This managing conference the will now be recorded. I, it is an integrated software management tool, which most of the company use for managing their business process in the different different department, accounts, HR, mm -hmm. uh, production, sales, purchasing, right? So yeah. it gives you better control for managing all the transactions in the all different, different different department, for managing all the activity in the uh, different different uh, areas like sales offices, plant, warehouse, you know? and just like mm -hmm. a for company managing all the financial transaction it give you better control and for some other way also and erp stand for like enterprises like industries company resources like man machinery and material to planning mm -hmm. so at present sap has more than 60 plus of model in the market and it hold 70 percent of markets here so 60 plus model means it is a complete solution for all the department and organization right every company oh. What they have department, SAP has a module for this, like sales, purchasing, mm -hmm. finance. Right? So we have a different yeah. different model. Uh, but if yes. you compare with other ERP, Oracle, and some other, uh, but Oracle is also well known ERP, but it's only used by most of the banking sector and right? a finance based company. Ban mm -hmm. is also one of the ERP, it's very old ERP, but basically Ban software <coughs> used by production based company and people software mm -hmm. CRM. Right? and HR and a simple like that. <clears throat> you have already uh, having the knowledge in SAP, but not in functional side, but uh, that you have to be a functional consultant to know, to go through the complete uh, configuration knowledge in, in SAP. Yes. Okay. Mm. Uh, so SAP actually it is German based software. It started in Germany in 1972 and it was five IBM like they implemented SAP in Germany. And it's mm -hmm. stand for system application <coughs> production data processing. So there is a many advantage of SAP. Uh, it, at present, SAP has hold 70% of market share. It gives a complete solution for all the department organization. And there is a concept called integration. And integration means interconnected. The SAP mm -hmm. model are interconnected. We are in the sales and distribution module. So we are integrated with the finance, purchasing, and you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, production planning, logistics, and you know, we are integrated, connected. The benefit yeah. of integration means if you do any transition in one particular department, it update in another department also, where it's quiet, okay? Uh, like we are in the sales, so whatever we do in the sales, it will be automatic update in the logistics department, account department, I think, because we are integrated. <laughs> And there is an uh, 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 option in SAP uh, is a customized solution. Like if you suppose client uh, requirement if not matched to the SAP standard. So there is a solution yeah. to do some changes in the SAP software that is called customization. And that is done by a technical consultant, right? Yes. And, yes. and the numbers of modules in SAP, we have the part of well, logistics. Then we have sales and distribution, uh, production planning, eh, material management finance and controlling, account management, HR, home and resource. So there's a different, different model in SAP and the model is divided in two parts and classified, classified in two, mm. functional and technical. <coughs> so functional, uh, we don't have any programming knowledge, but only functional side. Like if you have experience in relevant to area, like sales, so the SD module is there, account, so finance and controlling, MM purchasing, you know, like that. Yeah. And technical module is required that programming knowledge and like technical background, just like MCA, BCA background. This module mm -hmm. actually help to the SAP system to do some changes and customization. And there is a ABAP module and advanced business application program. This module, <coughs> total programming based module. If any changes in the system, SAP standard we require, which is done by technical consultant, that is ABAP consultant, right? Mm. And this is also one of the technical models which is related to system admin, like uh, uh, giving the user ID and password, uh, server connectivity, uh, uh, arranging the system landscape, like uh, three server, you know, three server required in project uh, development, yeah. quality, and production. These are handled by basis consultant. Okay. Mm. And SAP architecture, you know, it has three layers. Three tier means three layers. It started in very, very back, along back 1992, the three, three layer concept. Like client, uh, first front end layer where the client use SAP as a user, that is called front end technology, client server technology. Okay, presentation layer, and middle mm -hmm. layer is a programming layer where we have a 
स्टैंडर्ड प्रोग्राम एंड वे रिक्वायर्ड सम चेंज ऑफ प्रोग्राम व्हिच इज जस्ट बाय अ बैप कंसलटेंट है ना इन प्रोग्रामिंग लेयर एंड डेटाबेस लेयर वेयर द डेटा स्टोर्ड द ट्रांजैक्शन डेटा ऑफ द क्लाइंट तो एसपी वाज टेकिंग सपोर्ट फ्रॉम ओरेकल थर्ड पार्टी डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट लॉन्ग बैक है बट नाउ एसपी हैज देयर ऑन डेटाबेस फॉर नॉट टेक्निकल राइट so this is a mm-hmm. concept of a uh, three layer presentation where, where where the client use the sap on production server that is the presentation layer application middle layer where the app programming is there a database layer where the data is stored right mm-hmm. now in the sap i just mentioned two, two type of uh, role in the consultant role and end user role you know consultant role uh, we have two type function, functional consultant and technical functional mm-hmm. consultant role means like uh, we have to know the client requirement you know? just kind of bit, you are a business analyst you have to understand that the yes. client role. but here uh, our role is to know uh, know their requirement by uh, uh, receiving their uh, business process doc okay like their document mm-hmm. what they have business process we have to understand and what they are looking in the sap we have to do okay if any requirement the client if not match to the sap standard so there is a change is customization required that mm-hmm. is done by technical consultant so there is a technical consultant also in the project where he do some programming hai na new programming changes in that okay and yeah. from the client side there is a end user hai na end user means the client employee who use the sap system and do tier to tier transaction <laughs> and there is a client core user <coughs> who is the expertise in their business process of the client mm. <coughs> when we have <clears throat> different different types of project in sap implementation project uh, support roll out and upgradation uh, implementation mean if any com- client who looking for the sap first time hai na he might be using some other erp <coughs> you want to yeah. move in the sap so that is called implementation project in that implementation project we have to know the client business requirement and we do the configuration in the sap system and configuration means the mapping the client business process were very new to the sap that is in the implementation project support project means the client already use, uh, had sap implemented and in the support support means solving their issues problems and right? issues called yeah. tickets and right? raised by client and we did yeah. have to solve the tickets that we work on the support rollout project where the client already using the sap in the one location in india and client has one more location uh, set up in the another country and want to extend the sap there also so that is called rollout project Mm. and upgradation so now we are do, going to the upgradation from old version to new version huh? it it early it was ecc now we are having yeah. s4 hana that is yeah. upgradation project <coughs> migration <coughs> now i'll now i'll come to the sales and distribution huh? where you have to know in depth of what is the process we have for in the sales so sales and distribution is basically based on otc process and huh? order to cash right mm. so here whenever we going to implement sap first we have to know about the client organization structure what are the structure of the organization what their offices branch plant warehouse is right? so in this uh, you can see there is a sales organization uh, distribution channel division this mm. combination of this three called sales area sales. so sales organization 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 unit which is responsible for all the sales activity and distribution channel the channel through which the product is to the customer like dealer retailer right? wholesaler Mm-hmm. and division is a product line right? grouping the product which are in similar in nature like electronic division cosmetic division food division right and yeah. sales office is a branch sales office is a branch and right? a branch office where we do the sales right? and inside uh, in every sales office we have a group of employees that is called sales group that we have to know and we are integrated with the other modules so we have a company and company code which is a part of finance module and right? a business area credit control area these are part of finance and controlling right and uh, yeah. we have a, a plant plant store location that is a part of material management plant is manufacturing unit and store location is the warehouse and shipping point uh, the, uh, the the part of logistic execution where we have shipment process start okay yeah <clears throat> and these are structures where we work together huh, with the different different model consulting and there is a next uh, master data you know master data is the main important data of the client which upload in this uh, which maintain in the system for the day to day transaction in the sales so there is a five master data customer master data uh, it's all about the customer information it consists of customer name address communication details uh, material master data it's all about the product information which is ready to sell to the customer finished goods and product specification like product code number 
product belong to which plant in warehouse division these are information come to the material master data and customer till for record which is kind of information record of the customer their own choice name of the material you know? like customer is a dealer he has their own material number so that material number will be stored in the system for sales transaction mm. that is called customer material for record and condition master data it's all about the pricing pricing uh, just like a, you know every customer every material not same price we have a different customer different material we have to pricing is different so condition master basically is to store the pricing related information to whom what price we giving and a price a discount some charges tax phase and of loading charges these are under the condition master data and output master data it kind of taking the output of the document such as print out and a mail fax and something mm. that is called output just like we sending the quotation to the customer what medium of communication we use by mail or by print out so we use output master data and sap we have basically in the sales we have to know about the sales cycle you know what sales cycle has different different document type what are the item category for standard order process third party order process huh? return order process yes. that different different item category playing the important role in the sales document process and basically in the sales uh, this process we have to know inquiry quotation <coughs> order <coughs> delivery and billing process and billing uh, come to the account department relevant to the account department <coughs> Inquiry quotation pre sales document where the customer who do inquiry and then quotation is a legal document and order is a final document. The order to delivery we are integrated with a logistic mm. model, material manage, huh? where the product available in the warehouse with confirmation the order process huh? and delivery process. Then we have a shipment process like picking, packaging, loading, and transportation to the loading and transportation and then issue the good to the customer then we do the billing billing uh sent to the customer invite sent to the customer and payment of the customer will be done by account department so this process is called otc process order to cash process that is also known as order management and you know, we have to know in order management we have to know pre-sales document uh, the two character document i understand for inquiry quotation sales order no, CS, CS is time for cash, you know, where some customer we do not do any uh, credit basis for cash, cash transaction, you know, like a one time customer, we do the cash okay. process, you know. complaint, you know, like customer who receive the goods and he want to return the goods, that is called return mm. order process we do, uh, we do the long term agreement with the customer, that is called opt-in agreement, we know customer is a regular uh, buyer, so we do the agreement for supplying the material to the customer in Predefined date of delivery, something you know? that is the agreement yes. we do. That is called outline agreement. So there is the importance of document. We have to know inquiry, quotation, order. You know? What are the control attributes in this document? We have to know uh, rush order. Just like a uh, some time customer do the urgent order. So that is called rush order. Uh, this is uh, yes. how uh, system is controlled. What kind of uh, delivery we do? Immediate delivery or normal delivery like that. Okay. <coughs> and these are sales document. We have to know the structure of the document and you know, what three level we have a structure sales header level item and schedule line header where are uh, the important uh, information required like customer who the customer item data like uh, material product information and schedule line data it's like date of delivery information okay and one of the most important in the sales and distribution for making a complete otc process pricing now, pricing we have to know uh, what kind of condition technique for pricing condition technique means what price we giving to the customer differently you know? like customer dealer has different price customer retailer has different price you know? and there is a lots of act, uh, configuration we do in the pricing that is a pricing element such as price discount freight charges you know? these are the we configure in the sap system for pricing and there is some free good concept and you know? a free good determination like most of the company they use this concept uh, buy one get one free that how system mm. uh, not determine the any pricing for this free good what is the control and in that we have to know in the free good determination and there is different different <coughs> topic we have so i think uh, we have more than 20 topics when you uh, that all topic related to otc process just understand uh, what are the topic we have based on mm. otc process order to cash process so there is some mm. uh, topic i mentioned but we have more than 20 topic uh, that 
uh, say for example partner determinant partner means the customer whom we do the business transaction how system will determine the partner function in the order to cash process and who the customer who the uh, what's going to order the good who the customer receiving the good who the customer paying the bill you know that yeah. is we have to know in the partner determination <clears throat> material determination the concept like uh, some of the material is outdated for example so how system will replace with another material in the order page you know that's like a swapping the material in the order page yes we can say substitute the material in the order page that is called material determination <clears throat> we have a regular customer who regular purchasing the good it take lots of time to calling all the product in the order page so we do uh, uh, we save all the list of item for the customer specific customer in the page that item proposal so this item proposal is a concept of fast entry tool where the customer place the order rather than calling manually uh, manual all the product we can copy from the item proposal that is the concept in completion process what are the fields is important in the sales document like when uh, we do the sales order process some of the information is required like payment terms order quantity the customer information if any information is not maintained by individual system will not allow to do the complete process and that is called in completion procedure <clears throat> uh there is a availability check like any uh, any product uh, sorry uh, the customer place the order and system will perform the checking the availability of the stock in the warehouse if material is available then process of delivery start okay that is the concept we have to know that is called availability check availability means uh, checking the uh, material quantity in the warehouse that is called availability check cross selling the concept where the customer is uh, order particular material and sales person offering one more product to the customer and that is called cross selling product it is happen in the banking sector retail sector also that just like you order the laptop and we are offering yeah. this laptop by by the headphone that is called cross selling product and right? this is concept we have to know and numbering for every sales document what are the numbering defined for inquiry document quotation order delivery billing the numbering is important okay so number is for unique uh, number for every sales document <coughs> okay. and uh, we have to know some part of delivery process right? delivery process is the like uh, the part of logistic but we have to know some basic like what is the concept of shipping point determination the place from where the product will be dispatched that yeah. is called shipping point right? shipping point is a, uh, yeah. uh, railway, just like a transportation area railway station store location means the place where the we keep the stock physically there that is called store location the store mm. location means uh, warehouse we have to know so there is different, <coughs> different different delivery document we have to know okay mm. uh, <coughs> standard delivery like for what is going to deliver return delivery like customer want to return the goods okay that is concept we have to know uh delivery without order friends free sample giving to the customer right <coughs> and billing also one of the important in the sales like what kind of billing we do see billing we have uh, two type of billing uh, one is a, a basically this billing plan we use in the service industry uh, service product periodic means monthly payment you know, like rent agreement yeah maintenance yeah. charges milestone one time billing you know? and there is a different yeah. different billing document this is a integrated with finance order related billing a delivery related billing intercompany billing the order related billing means the customer who order the goods then we do the billing that is order related billing delivery related billing once we complete the delivery process then we do the billing delivery related to billing and intercompany billing between two company code and a company code like tata group of company has two company code tata group and tata motor for example mm. so any billing between two company code that is called intercompany billing we have to know and okay. some of the special functionality we have like third party order process third party order process means where the customer order the goods to the company but company not manufacturing the goods they are simply taking the order from the customer and forwarding to the third party vendor he supply the goods to the customer that is called third party order process <coughs> there is a consignment process where the customer uh, sorry the company keeping the stock to the dealer's place that is called consignment process company keeping the stock to the dealer's place from there they start selling to the end customer that is called consignment sales process and there is some special process like rebate rebate actually that was in, is in the ecc 
now in the s4 hana it's called contract contract management okay contract management okay that process we ha huh, that process we have to know in the rebate processing ha huh? uh, rebate after the sales we give the some after the billing not sales after the billing we give some amount back to the customer account that is called rebate amount and there is a integration with sales and distribution with mm material management finance production planning that process we have to know integration okay and uh, as a consultant we have to work on the project to implementation project we have to know the asset methodology and uh, the methodology we use for a proper step by step process in the implementation project yes and all the thing which we have to know based on real time scenario how we do configuration what kind of challenges come what issue we face that while doing the support project you know? mm. uh, that is we have to know so you yeah. have already a good exposure in the acp but not for any particular module and you are already yeah. having the knowledge about the theoretical but not in practically configuration part so this yes, will help you to understand ha uh, this yeah. ha this will be help you help you to go with the configuration part to understand right yeah 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 so this is the overall syllabus that you'll be covering no whatever high level syllabus right yeah high level but ha huh, i'll tell you again there some more topic we have Uh, okay. we, you can get it the course content from the my subu uh, hana part he will provide you course content number of okay. topic there so this is the only uh, overview i given but ha uh, most of the topic are uh, related to otc process some of the topic we are integrated with other module some of the okay. topic which is got some technical setting which is with our bab consultant you know? so uh, number okay. of topic we have ha so, uh, better i uh, will get the course content and then you can see what topic we have But ha, huh, I okay. think mo- I, we have more than twenty topics, Manju. Hana, huh? we can go through. Okay. 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 Yeah. Please. So, tell me any question you have. Any more? Uh, uh, I, so, I, how I, many classes in, uh, will be there? Like to complete this? Like, is it like a month course or how is it? See, you are see, you are not a beginner and you are already having the knowledge in SAP. So, I do, uh, mm. see, topic by topic, you've seen more than twenty five. the topic we have just take it number 25 topic depend okay. uh, it may be uh, take uh, one uh, 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 one to two months uh, like minimum 40 hours you can take it and you know, 40 hours required okay. 35 okay. to 40 hours it depend how go with the topic why topic and do practice and understand the concept that yeah. there no any hard and fast rule ki like we can go to three months ya four months no this is only how you go through the topic and understand the concept very well right okay. maybe uh, one and one and a half month also more enough to go with this knowledge okay okay yeah. okay <coughs> yeah any so other by end of have? this course like you know i can uh-huh. try for this st consultant roles right yes 100% i will also guide you in that training okay okay From, because okay. i have my uh, with my experience i'll explain uh, all the thing what you have to be a uh, what you have to know in the sap to be a Uh, consulting the uh, uh, scpst to know the client requirement see basically not only configuration part you have to know the concept very well to know the client yeah. requirement how we receive and how we doing the process in the sap that is also very important right mm. so it will help okay. i'll guide you okay theek hai okay hmm. okay yeah so is it like a weekly <laughs> class daily weekly class mm. or weekend class all those things depend so will be telling <laughs> Or, yeah depend on your, your what your availability uh, manju what's your timing flexible timing for you uh, for me this timing works like you know your 7 am ha ha that is my uh, my 9:30 okay the 7 am only is early for you right so uh, you can go early morning hai na this this time you to also find 7 to 8 hai na for me for me yeah for me it works 7 to 8 okay for Okay, okay. Then what time you want? No, no, no. Eastern whatever to time today is there, right? Like. Okay, okay. Okay, I understand. Yeah, is my ha, night ha. duty. Oh, okay. No, you are not in uh, India. US. Where? Oh, yeah, I am in Canada. Toronto. Oh, you are in Canada. 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 Yeah. Ah, uh, that's fine. Ah, uh, you just make a plan. In the morning, what your timing for availability? That will be. My morning. Or evening. Morning, if- my morning uh-huh. doesn't work for me because like you know my kids and all has to go to school okay. and all right so for me uh, this this time works very well for me like your morning times would work for me ha uh, the 7 yes 7 to 8 right 
yes yes morning your yeah. 7 a.m that's, to 8 p.m 8 a.m well, that's fine and that that yeah. that's fine that's fine we can do ha huh. sometime if not uh, uh for available so i will message you also okay but 7 yeah, to 8 yeah, is yeah, fine sure. for you 7 okay. to 8 7 okay. to 8 is fine for weekday classes okay yeah that is monday so, to friday right yes that monday is, to friday yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Sure. Yeah. Don't worry about the timing. We can manage for you. Uh, yeah. Like you are from Canada, so I can understand you are in evening timing. For me, you are in morning time. That will be fine also. Okay. 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 Any other any other requirement? Uh, no, that's it. Okay. 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 So then you can uh, talk to the Subbu. He will help you for the providing the code contents and other things. And we okay. can start like uh, today to Friday, na? So from Monday onwards, na? Like yeah. you want to start yeah. from Monday, so we can start. Otherwise, you want to so tomorrow also, we can make a plan, okay? So you can. No, we just can start to... from Monday. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So you can confirm to the Subu, and we'll start by Monday onwards, okay? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, oh. Sure. Oh, okay Thank then. You. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.